Hello and welcome to How to Farm Focus. Focus has always been a large part of late game Warframe optimization, and now with the Angels of Zeraman update and the changes to the focus trees, it is now more relevant than ever to spend some time getting one or more of your focus schools up to standard. First, what is focus? Your first time seeing focus schools is likely at the end of the second dream quest, when the game inexplicably gives you the choice between one of five focus schools and expects you to make a decision on the spot for a brand new system you know nothing about. If you're like me, you likely pick Zenerik because the icon kind of looks like an uwu. Or maybe you asked your friend which school you should pick and they told you to play Zenerik because it has Energizing Dash, or as it's been renamed now, Wellspring. Or maybe even being a fan of the game and the lore, you read through the short descriptions of each school and realize that the best choice for you is Zenerik. Regardless, thankfully, the choice here doesn't really matter, as you can level up all the schools anyway and change between them whenever you want. But with that said, it still doesn't answer the question, what is focus? Focus in itself is nothing more than points you can spend to unlock new upgrades and abilities in each school. Like most systems in the game, there's a daily cap for how much you can get, and the cost to level up an ability essentially doubles each time you do, making it easy to unlock all the abilities in a school, but a huge time commitment to max the entire school. If you do manage to max a school, don't worry, extra focus points earned can still be spent on cosmetics in the new shop. Focus schools are really one of those things that, once you have it, there's no real reason not to use it. It's literally just beneficial passives and abilities for your frames and operator. So how do you get focus? Well, that's a much more complicated question to ask. There are two main ways to farm focus, Eidolon shards and focus lenses. Eidolon shards are a little bit easier to explain, so we'll start there. After killing or capturing any of the three stages of an Eidolon, it will drop a number of brilliant shards and radiant shards. You can take these shards, and under Operator, after selecting a school in the focus window, there's a small button in the bomb corner called Focus Conversion. This will let you turn those shards into focus points for the chosen school. As an additional note, converting shards does not count towards your daily focus cap, so you can easily redeem millions of focus worth of shards in a single day. The other way to get focus is through focus lens. There are currently four types of lenses in the game, regular, greater, Eidolon, and Lua, and each of these has a percentage associated with them. Once you have a lens, all you need to do is put it on any weapon, Warframe, Amp, Archwing, Archgun, um, Necromech, and even K-Drive if you really wanted to, and from then on, whenever you gain affinity with the item, the lens will generate a percentage of focus to a specific school. Also, if you have a lens equipped, glowing yellow things will periodically appear on the map. These are called convergence orbs, and once picked up, they'll multiply the efficiency of your lens by 8 times for a period of 45 seconds, so collecting them and getting lots of kills is a great way to get focus. The downside to lenses is they only give focus to one school, and an item can only have one lens on it at a time. Removing slash replacing a lens will result in the previous lens being destroyed, so pick your weapon and lenses carefully. How to farm focus. So now we know what focus is and how to get it, but this is Warframe. We're here for the grind. What is the best and fastest way to get absurd amount of focus in the shortest amount of time? Well, in my mind, there are three ways I consider the best to get focus. Each one has its perks and drawbacks, as well as a minimum investment in gear. And yes, before we go any further, Warframe is a free-to-play game. By picking up an affinity booster for Platinum, it will double the XP going onto a weapon, and therefore doubling the focus converted. But just as an extra note on that, affinity boosters stack with double affinity weekends as well as affinity blessings from Realize, and that all can even stack again with an affinity buff from a Kavat. So farming out crazy amounts of focus really doesn't have to be that hard, as long as you have a little bit of luck in time. Anyway, moving along like the average domestic drone, the first way to get focus is through hunts. It takes a lot of specialized gear and time commitment to practice and learn how to do one, but being able to do a 5x3, i.e. 5 full captures each time getting all 3 stages in a night, gives by far the most focus for your time. Plus, in addition to getting the shards for the focus conversion, you're also getting other good drops like arcanes. The issue with this, though, thanks to the new changes to the focus schools, specifically changes to Void Dash and Void Strike, the whole carefully crafted hunt meta is kind of broken, and until new builds and strategies can be found, hunts are sorta in a grey spot, can't really recommend them at this time. I'm not saying don't do them at all. Hey, if it's night, go do a couple hunts, get some shards and some arcanes. It's by far worth it for your time, just if you're looking for the fastest possible way to get focus specifically, you might want to wait a few months for hunts to become optimized again. The second way I recommend getting focus is through SO and ESO kill frames. Sanctuary Onslaught and Elite Sanctuary Onslaught were added to the game to literally be a small map with high enemy density so that players can get lots of kills to level their gear without needing to run goddamn Hydron on Sedna for the millionth time. For farming focus, this is awesome, because with a good well-tuned kill frame and lens, you can get insane amounts of focus in a short amount of time with low effort. For a normal Sanctuary Onslaught, my kill frames of choice are Mirage with an explosive Largaments build, Volt with a global nuke build, or finally a Saren with a spore build. 
I'm including an optimized build and a less optimized build for each of these frames, but you can really use any frame you want so long as you can get lots of kills with it fast and you have a lens. As an extra note, a lot of these builds can be very energy hungry, so if you don't have an arcane energize laying around, having a friend play an energy vampire trend can help a lot as you cannot use any energy restores in Sanctuary Onslaught. To do elite Sanctuary Onslaught, you essentially only have one good option, a strong Saren Spore build as she is the only one who can really scale well into it as well as kill fast enough to make it worthwhile. But once you get the hang of it, this is one of the best ways to farm a large amount of focus in a very short amount of time. Oh, and remember those convergent orb things that give your lens an 8x multiplier? Well each time you jump through a portal and move on to the next stage, you're automatically given one for free, so make sure to start strong to use it to its max. Third method for farming focus is Solo Stealth Adaro Exterminate. This is my personal preferred way to get focus, as it's a fairly low investment of gear for a really big payoff. All you really need is an Equinox with a rest build and at least one good melee weapon that you can one-shot Grenier up to level 50. Slap a good lens onto your melee weapon and unequip all other weapons so more affinity will go to your melee and that's all you need. If you want to be extra optimized, you can equip Neuromon School with affinity spike for even more bonus affinity to your lens. All you really need to do for this is queue up a solo Adaro on Sedna mission. After you drop in, hide in the corner and place an energy restore to get a good stockpile of energy. Then switch to Equinox's night mode and using your number 2 ability, put all the enemies in a room asleep before killing them with your melee. If you do this right and kill every enemy unalerted because they're asleep, you'll get this buff and it can stack up to 500%. This is just a straight up 500% affinity multiplier. So make sure to pick up the convergence orbs and get a lot of stealth kills and soak in all that sweet sweet focus. And yeah, that's about it. All you really need to know about focus farming in this current update. With that said, that's all I really have to say. On screen now is just some data from the different methods I go over in this video. We'll probably do about 10 runs of each and log all the results so you can just look and see which is the best and what kind of gear and time investment it'll take from you. New videos hopefully coming soon. I'm currently working on two other videos but they're on hold due to researching issues and the other video I was going to release last month got fucked over because of these focus changes. But what can you do? That's Warframe for you. I just hope you learned something new, and I'm gonna go back to doing what I was working on before, which is anything other than Warframe, because I am burnt out as fuck. Later!